episode, we're going to look at a few neat tricks around associations, as well as doing mathematical calculations. So the example that we're going to build and make is where we have car manufacturers. So you'll have something like a Honda, and Honda will have several automobiles, and an automobile will have many parts. So when we go to show, in this example, a Honda Civic, you can see the price and also the weight of the vehicle. Now the price and the weight of the vehicle are being determined by the parts of the vehicle. And those calculations are being made and then being displayed here. So if we edit the automobile, we're going to be able to tick off a lot of different parts for a vehicle. And once we check those off and update it, it's going to update the price as well as the weight. And while these things aren't too difficult to build and calculate yourself, as you can imagine, there is so much more to automobiles than just these little pieces. So structuring your application correctly from the start, it's going to make not only a big difference in how maintainable the application is, but also how you're going to be able to easily debug it and or test it. So in this first episode, we're going to look at building out this application up to this point that we have it. And in the next episode, we're going to come back and look at testing it. And some of my views on testing on when to test after the fact and when to do test-driven development. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.